And I guess it would be a great thing to do at the beginning, which is doing a little introduction to what Hermes actually is. And um, for those who haven't heard about it, what would be its biggest selling point? Um, and I guess, Sean, maybe you want to start as you are actually the representative of the Hermes uh, team at Facebook. Yeah. So Hermes basically is a new JavaScript engine built by Facebook. It's designed for the mobile environment, specifically to improve the performance of React Native apps. But as React Native currently expanding to desktop, thanks to Microsoft, we've seen some of the key benefits are also very transferable to the desktop as well. Um, so for selling points, maybe we should pull off the deck. Let's do it. So Hermes can help with three primary metrics to improve the user experience. So the first one is TDI or time to interactive, which is basically how fast your app can start up. This is the most noticeable one to the end users. The second one is application size or binary size. This is comparing to the JSC, the, con the current default engine of React Native on Android. And the third one is the memory footprint or memory consumption. So these metrics are critical to mobile since the computation and memory resources are much more constrained there because of the form factor and the thermal limits. But they are also very helpful to desktop as well. So we have some data collected from Facebook. So we, so as we can see, the time to interactive is cut to half and the APK size is roughly cut to half as well. And we're also able to cut memory by about one third to one fourth. Let me show you guys uh, classic videos. Uh, so this is open source app. And the left one is the React Native with Hermes and the right one is React Native without Hermes. And you can see the left one uh, start much faster than the right one. Cool. So Sean, thanks for you know showing this deck. It really worked quite. It really worked great. And now uh, you know we've seen that you know uh, Hermes is faster than JSC on Android, and that's quite impressive. Um, but JSC is not the only engine on Android. I mean, you can actually run V8, or I know that at least historically, um, React Native Windows, I guess, used to be running Chakra. Uh, I remember some interesting comments about that. So I guess. Um, did you try any benchmarking against the other engines rather than just JSC? And if yes, uh, what were the results? <laughs> I don't, we don't try that internally, but I've seen a hacker news that some employee from Microsoft Office has compared Hermes versus VA and Chakra. And actually, they already using Bico for VA, VA and Chakra, which is already a little bit more advanced than the majority of React Native users and still observe some TTI memory and app size wins. Um, I think QRS users can check out that hacking news. And I can attest that that person is not just a random person. That person, Andrew, really takes his stuff serious. So if he says that, then he, he did some serious benchmarking. Oh, that was Andrew. Nice. I know him. Yeah. Awesome. Ah, that's great. So so just to recap, the results were, I guess, showing that Hermes is faster, right? Yeah. Um, <laughs> <it'd> be... <laughs> Otherwise, we wouldn't be bringing that up, right? <laughs> cool. So I guess, you know, it really makes me wonder, like, how is this possible? What is the, the magic be behind Hermes? that makes such big improvements possible? Yeah, I think the short answer is that the magic behind all this is what's so-called bytecode pre-compilation, which means Hermes can compile your JavaScript source code to optimize bytecode 
ahead of that time. So your React Native app will just ship with this bytecode, and Hermes can start execution directly from there. Um, we can go into more details later. Yeah. And actually, it just happens that uh, later means now, actually, because that was what I was going to ask you about. So <laughs> it's quite funny, but it's all right. 